Can I see? Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Can I see where is it messy behind? Mm, it's, it's okay. I think the messier is okay because okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make it messier. <laughs> We can go back in time to 2019. Do you remember what it felt like to be a freshman? It's quite exciting for me in terms of like making a new friends and like meet the new teacher as well. And I think like it's challenging also in terms of the language. There was definitely excitement when you came, but also uh, challenges. But challenges aside, what were you looking forward to the most? For me, communication, communication skill, huh? <laughs> 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 and also improving myself, performance skill, and mm. also new instrument mm. in terms of the percussion. So because last time like we don't have any like djembe, conga, like all the like. Traditional mm. instrument, world music. yeah, world yes. music, yeah. So I come here to gain more experience playing this kind of instrument. Also, mm. come, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
first time you heard of COVID-19? At first, I didn't expect it to be um, this big world, worldwide um, problem for, for several years. And I didn't also think that it affect my life that much. Eventually, many opportunities um, which was beneficial to me, something like orchestra project or chamber project, any, any kind of music project was cancelled and then had to be lost um, because of the pandemic. I can start off first by saying what I was doing when I first heard of COVID-19. I had a very stubborn runny nose and I went to the clinic just to get it checked up. While waiting in line, I was watching the news. That's when I heard about a new mysterious virus that had suddenly popped up in Wuhan and that there were already a couple of deaths involved. And it didn't really register into my head. I was more occupied with the stubborn runny nose I had and I just wanted to get rid of it at that time. Nothing else in the world meant more than that. It only impacted me when this virus evolved into a pandemic and then into a pandemic. And that's when I realized the severity of you know this whole thing. And it got me thinking, actually, before there were any lockdowns, restrictions. What did your life look like then? Before COVID, I was year one student. Um, I just started my uh, YSD life and it was really hopeful. I got, I got many new friends. I got so much um, knowledge and techniques already with, with my professor and, uh, and, and all the classes um, happened in YSD. And it was really fun, fun time. Uh, every single experience I had taken was, was, was really good. I was so hopeful life still continues like this, but it didn't.
you know, if there's one thing COVID actually did to all of us is that it affected us one way or another, whether big or small. So how did COVID impact you as a music student? COVID was definitely a disruptive force in my time as a music student. And I think to be a music student, your artistry has to have that integrity. You need to know why you're there, uh, at why what you're making and why you're making what you're making. And to have that, I think you kind of need to be emotionally intact. And COVID-19 and the pandemic, it wasn't a good time for that, let's just say. I think it kind of felt like uh, it deprived me of going through the typical music student journey of like getting to join uh, music festivals abroad or joining live music competitions because everywhere has either lockdowns or like really strict quarantines and restrictions. But then, if there is a silver lining to it, I think it's that the pandemic forces us to explore other possibilities, making use of our technology to collaborate with others from across the world and make music together. The way the pandemic affected me as a musician was twofold. First, it allowed me to step away from music and assess creativity as its own thing. As an artist, as an artist where does my fountain of creativity come from? The second thing was getting in touch, a little more in touch with how I felt day to day so that I could realize, first of all, it was one of the sources of my creativity, but also that creativity was such a limited resource, at least for me. It made me realize that I can actually make music with other people, even if we're like continents apart. I remember during the first vacation after COVID happened, I got to collaborate with several Filipino musicians. I collaborated once with a violinist who was in the US at the time, and then with another violinist. We couldn't uh, see each other face to face because of the strict lockdown in the Philippines. Yeah, I just find it interesting that we get to make music in a new life.
So, what's one thing you finally got to do when COVID restrictions began to ease? I got to meet up with really big groups of friends because I remember last year during Chinese New Year, we had to meet up in smaller groups and this year finally all of us could come together and visit each other and go to each other's house. We got to play music with my friends. We could still play music, we could still uh, make music but it was a very isolated activity but now uh, that the restrictions were lifted, uh, we managed to come together as a group, we managed to uh, create this little environment where we play all the compositions that came up during COVID when you're locked in at home and then uh, with that came about like the van that we formed Limitless Jazz Ensemble so that was uh, the silver lining through the storm of COVID. I think it's as simple as like um, daily activities like going to the park, taking a walk, going on a picnic. It's time. <laughs> and whether we... <laughs> I was also shocked. What I've done after the restriction for me is try to make my state more peaceful to accept whatever we've experienced or what we will be facing. And what comes to mind as you approach the end of your studies in YST? Finishing my capstone. Actually, for me, it's still about be calm down and be peaceful. I feel excited and very hopeful to what's um, going to be uh, in the next chapter of my life. Uh, and definitely I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll miss my teachers, my peers who have been here with me throughout the four years in YST. I'm really going to miss all my friends in YST. And it's because we are all graduating and moving on to a new path in our life. I hope that we'll meet again in the future. And of course, I will definitely miss seeing them in the campus and in YST. So I hope we'll see each other again next time too outside YST. I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that sums up our interview today. So thank you very much, Zhou so, Lao Thank you, my Lao Si. my Google Maps. Thank you.